नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो गोइंग इन टू दॉब अपर्चुनिटी ऑफ आयुर्वेद मेडिकल ऑफिसर इज वन ऑफ दी मोस्ट कॉमनली सॉर्ट आउट काइंड ऑफ पोस्ट इवन फॉर बी एम एस ग्रेजुएट इयर इट डजेंट रिक्वायर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन एज सच इन मोस्ट ऑफ दी केसेस सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द हिमाचल प्रदेश मेडिकल ऑफिसर पोस्ट विच आर कॉल्ड नाउ there is confusion in relation to the salary scale and other structure there so we are going to clarify that for all so as all of you know the medical officer post is one of the critical posts because they are the uh, you can say the ground level staff of ayurveda who are serving the common people rather than the institution level faculty and others the medical officers are the one who are in direct touch with the patients or the public so they play a huge role in propagation of ayurveda so each state has their own rules and one of the state that is himachal pradesh usually recruits the medical officers on various basis certain reservations for the service man and other times it is batch wise and the examination based recruitments are done so recently the notification had come in relation to the uh, posts of medical officer in hp psc that is public service commission no so the confusion part is in this uh, notification as you can see uh, the salary structure what is given here is not so clear you can see there at last the amu class 1 gets the date on contract basis in the pay scale of level 16 of pay matrix 48700 154300 consolidated fixed contractual amount 29 220 per month as prescribed so the numbers are uh, confusing so many numbers and you are not sure which basically is going into or you can say which is the actual salary you are going to get in hppsc so and also it is written as contractual post so what is the exact situation so if you go through this structure so this is the pay scale this is the pay scale that is the band between 10300 to 34800 in the main uh, notification they have mentioned This is the pay 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 scale band 10,300 to 34,800. Now, if you see this scale and the pay uh, grade pay that is mentioned here is 5,000. So, if you go there, there are so many rows like 18,450, 2.64, 16. So many are there. I want you to concentrate on that 5,000 pay scale. What you can see on the top. So, I am going to zoom that here. So, here this is how it looks. So, 16 rep re represents here the level 16. so what they are mentioning in terms of level 16 in this notification you can see level 16 of pay matrix so pay band is different pay matrix is different so pay band is the above one 10300 34800 and pay matrix is this one 48700 up to 154 300 so where it is exactly if you see here in the level 16 starting number is 48700 so they are talking about that pay matrix and the ending number is 154300 So this line represents that pay matrix. I think now you understood. Pay band is different. The grade pay are different, and then the level third. So this is the level sixteen. Starting salary will be forty eight seven hundred. The highest salary as per the experience will be one lakh fifty four thousand three hundred in this pay matrix. Now a, a medical officer who is getting a post in this particular uh, like notification, is he going to get this much? Then why did they mention? the total salary as 29 to 20 so that is the confusion basically what happens is the himachal pradesh public service commission usually up to 2 years there will be a contractual basis kind of like employment even if you are selected up to 2 years you will not get the actual salary of a regular medical officer this is the difference 2 years will be given a contract based salary so during that time what happens is the rule is as per the hp that is government So 60% of the first cell of level 16 of hebo pay matrix. So so many numbers again confusion. So if you go back again, level 16, the first row is 48700. 48700 is the first row. And what the government says is, if you are a contractual based employee in Himachal Pradesh for the first two years, how much you are going to get? 60% of the first number means the minimum salary. So the minimum salary is forty eight seven hundred. If you calculate the sixty percent of that, then you are going to get twenty nine two twenty. So that is what they have mentioned here in the notification. 
29,220 per month consolidated. I think now we understood why it is 29 to 20. So does it mean there will not be any other relevance? Yes, you are right. Other than this, you will not get any relevance. Allowance in terms of the DA, HRA, NPA, nothing you are going to get extra. So after one year, when you are working in the same post, you will be given 3% increment, 3%. So it comes to very minimum, very bare minimum, maybe 1000 rupees may be increased here when you count uh, for this 30,000 year by. So, very minimum increment. So, first year you are working for 29 to 20, second year working for the uh, 30,000 approximately. So, one uh, condition is that like whenever you are posted to some other faraway place, maybe the TA and DA may be permitted that it is written like that. So, TA if it is given like because of the traveling uh, that has been arranged by or you can see you are staying in some place or because of some camp or anything like that, you are sent to some other place. So, there TA will be given to you. So during that time, TA will be given as per the normal normal pay matrix. Normal pay matrix, what we had seen, the 48700, whatever regular AMO gets, that much of TA and DA will be given only for that particular period of time. So other than that, if you are working in the same place where you are staying, then you won't even you won't get these kind of allowances. So you will be getting 29 to 20. So this is how you can get to know what exactly the contractual basis means and what this salary structure means. So after two years, what happens? Then you become a regular uh, kind of MO. MO. So you are in the regular post. So you are a permanent uh, employee now of HP government and you are a medical officer of Ayurveda. So that time what happens? So that time you will be giving, given the complete pay as such. So that consists of basic grade pay, DA, NP, AT, HR, everything included will be your salary after two years. So that is after two years. Basic as we already seen the first year it was 48,700. Grade pay was around 5000, so it comes to about 53, 54 now, roughly we calculate. DA as of now is 38% of the basic, so if you calculate 38% of uh, around 48, you are going to get around 20,000, roughly I am telling everything, 20. NPA is 20%, NPA is 20%, so you will get around 10 there or 10 to 12 there. Then uh, you will get TA, travelling allowance. Uh, in Himachal Pradesh, the travelling allowance rates are different from central government there. So mainly in Shimla and other uh, major regions, it is... 10% and in other places it is 7.5% something like that is there. So exactly if you want to know, uh, we will take a, another time when we uh, calculate all this for a regular year. Now the post is in relation to contract based is that's why I am not going in detail about that. So TA at that time just consider uh, comes around, I mean HRA comes around 5000, TA comes about 5000. So if you add all these together, 48, 700, grade pay around 5, so 54 there. DA if you add uh, 20 it comes about 64. 74 now, NPA around 80, so around 80 to 85,000 or 80 to 90,000 in between that. When you add all these things after two years when you get the proper regular AMO post, then you are going to get between 80 to 90, exact number I am not telling. When you add all these things, you are going to get in between that. So that is how you are going to get the salary in the near future or after getting the proper regular job. So every year there will be increment. So how will be the increment? So that will be like... Initially you are given 48,700. So next year there will be basic hike that is 5,200. So every year there will be 1,500 increment there. So that will apply to even other allowances. So that is how you are going to get the increment. And in relation to the promotions and other things, then your level will change. Now the level is 16, your level will change. So the basic also will change. So that is how the promotions and the higher uh, the experience, the higher the salary. So for now, 29 to 20 will be the salary who uh, what you are going to get if you are getting selected in this kind of post but of course it is going to be uh, permanent so that is why usually uh, scholars opt and if he or she is the local uh, scholar of Himachal Pradesh of course it is it should be the first preference regarding leaves there will be casual leaves that is 12 per year every month you work you will get one CL if you don't use it will be accumulated and at last also you can use other than that 12 CL you will get 10 ml and that is medical leave and 5 special leaves will be there. So, total in a year, 12 plus 10 plus 5, that is 27 leaves can be taken based on casual, medical or special leave kind of system. And this will not carry forward to the next year. This is only for the contractual period. After you get into regular post, that, that will change, of course. And if she is a female, there will be some other rules as per the, uh, uh, depending on the, uh, the pregnancy and related maternal leave issues. So, that is... Uh, decided as per the HP government rules. That is that will be extra. So this is in relation to the uh, 
certain aspects which you wanted to know regarding Himachal Pradesh, the salary scale for the said notification. So, if you have any such queries regarding any state, you can uh, text in the comment section or you can uh, mail. So, we will be getting the answer in the coming videos. Until next time, thank you.